Yo, what is up you guys? Game Breaker got here. I hope you guys are staying safe, you guys are staying home, you're staying healthy guys. But um, yeah, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the spear. So this is the pro combat tip for the spear, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. Um, right now I'm going to show you guys how to do the ninjutsu cancel. And hopefully you guys will know, uh, you know, you will take a few good things about this tutorial. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Um, the first skill you guys are going to want to use and unlock in the spear, for the spear, is the pole kick. Now, I have the pole kick set on my low stance, so whenever I press square and then triangle, I do spear kick, well, pole kick, um, whilst in low stance. Now, you can do an injury to cancel with the pole kick, so all you got to do literally is press square, triangle, any ninjutsu, and then press R1, okay? So that could be literally any ninjutsu. So the timing is the following. Let your character reach the ground after the pole kick. Ninjutsu R1. That's it. Literally, that's it. And you can use shuriken. You can use medusa powder, which is the paralytic thing. And you can use a bomb. So right there, just like that. Now, I'm going to give you guys the inputs for those of you that do not understand so far. Still, uh, all you gotta do is press square, triangle, left arrow. So, where my flying heron is. So that's my heron, my flaming herons actually. So that's what they are called. This skill right here is set. Uh, where is it? Right there. It's set on my left D-pad. So number two. Uh, shortcut number two is set on my left D-pad, okay? So that one. Okay? So all you gotta do is press square. Triangle, left D-pad, R1. With that specific timing, square, triangle, left D-pad, R1. Just like that. If you follow that timing, you cannot get it wrong. For the pole kick, anyway. Now, there's also a secret thing that I found out today. You can actually do two shuriken throws after pole kick. So look at this. See that? Two shuriken throws. That's pretty tricky because you gotta be really fast at using the shurikens. And you gotta literally spam, spam the the ninjutsu throw. Um, I think that's the quickest way to do it anyway. But anyway, you can use any anything. You can use a uh, elixir, <laughs> but obviously it doesn't let you take it for you to be able to cancel it. But you can pretty much do the animation. You can throw a dung ball. You can throw anything really. See that? You can mix like three ninjutsus together with that skill, okay? Now, there's another way to do this, guys, and it's the following. When you're in mid stance, let me just show you what stance I'm on. Right now, I'm currently in low stance. Go to mid stance, and all you gotta do is press triangle, left D-pad, R1. That's it. And in high stance, it's the following. So let me just show you. High stance, square, left D-pad, R1. That's it. You can probably do like two hits, let me see, one and two, and then R1. Yeah, you can pretty much do like two hits. Um, it also works with the with low stance as well. I'm not sure about the, the other ones, like three hits. Three hits does not work, that's for starters. Let me try and do four hits. Yep, there's no four hits for the, for the spear, unfortunately. Let me try triangle, triangle. Nope, triangle, triangle doesn't work in this stance. Nope, does not work at all. Um, what about low stance? Low stance doesn't work as well. It works with the one-time triangle whilst in low stance. Let me just show you. Low stance, triangle, R1. It works with that, like that. Wait, is that just two hits in low stance? That's garbage. What about high stance? High stance, it works with the... Uh, let me just do that again. There we go. In high stance, you can do one-time triangle and then use a ninjutsu. Um, but you gotta be like tapping it. Yeah, there you go. And it works as well. Now, what you can do with this, guys, you may think it's useless, but check this out. See that? Now, let me show you that in combat. Uh-oh, I messed up. I messed up completely. Okay, I didn't. I, did, I cancelled it too fast. Let me just do that again. Okay. 
see that? Now, you can do that in combat on PvP. When PvP comes out, you can pretty much do this because you'll be able to take up your own, like, you know, gear sets and all that stuff. Now, the way this works, guys, you gotta time things a little bit. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, but this specific combo, uh, let me just show you what it is called so you guys know what exactly. When you're guarding, Wild Spear is a really good move to close it into your character. And then what you can do is use a Yokai ability to cancel that animation. Because the animation is kind of long. See that? That's how long it takes for you to recover. Let me just show you. That's how long it took for me to recover. It, took about, it takes about two seconds. One, two. Yeah, two and a half seconds. That's just literally too long. It's way too long and you get vulnerable. So what you can do, do a uh, poke kick. You know, this. And then do that, Yokai ability, and then continue comboing. See that? And that's how you can do it. Now, let me show you the inputs. I mean, not show you the inputs. Let me tell you how you're gonna do this, okay? So at any given point after you do a ninjutsu cancel, you can do wild spear, okay? So let me just show you. For example, I'm in low stance right now. You can do square, triangle, wild, um, what do you call it? Ninjutsu cancel. So square, triangle, ninjutsu cancel, wild spear, Yokai ability, and then use a charged move for the spear, which is called a uh, twisting spear. Okay, you, and that twisting spear, you can set it in low stance, mid stance, and high stance. You can have it in every single stance. Now, what I like to do is use the spinning spear straight into, um, what do you call it? Straight into a spear flourish. Now, spear flourish is another move that you're gonna need to unlock as it's really good for the spear. It catches people off balance pretty much if you land the following skill, which I'm going to tell you right now. While you're in the high stance, if you land this first move, that spear flourish will be guaranteed, which that which will then mean your following heavy attack is also guaranteed. So let me show you what I mean by that. See that? There's nothing you can do about that. Absolutely nothing. Now, you see that what I mean, guys? You can pretty much, like, punish your opponent really well with the spear. Now, that combo you just saw with the hatchets is something we're going to learn today as well. So, do not worry. I will show you how to do that, too. Now, um, let's move on. Uh, we just learned a few ways of canceling ninjutsus. Quick recap. With the controls and the inputs, whilst you mid, mid low stance, all you got to do is poke kick. Watch your character land on the floor, use a ninjutsu straight away. And then press R1. Now, you gotta press R1 just before that key pulse comes back to you, okay? Bam, R1, just like that. And then in mid stance, all you gotta do is press triangle, and then the left arrow, and then R1, just like that. And then whilst you can do it twice, you can do two attacks. Wait, what the hell was that? Yeah, you can do two attacks and then press uh, the ninjutsu, and then use R1 to cancel. And I think the same for... Low stance as well, so for low stance, you gotta do triangle, triangle. And then press R1. Now this time I didn't do it right, but it does work. And then you can do, I think, one time square. Yep, and then do R1. You get the picture, guys? It's pretty much however you like. You just gotta make sure you find the combo strings that work on Ninjutsu cancels. And then, um, yeah, and then go crazy with them. Um, Okay, so now moving on, I'm going to teach you the best ways of you, the safest way to get in and out of combos with the spear, okay? The spear has two slow moves, okay? The high stance, when you're pressing square, people can see that coming and they can parry it. So you got to make sure you're really clever when you're using this one. If you just use it recklessly, you will get parried and you will take damage. Now, the best way to use that move is after you smack them with... um with the charged charged running attack watching high stance and you gotta make sure you press square okay not triangle you're pressing square oh my controller just died all right so whilst you're in high stance you just gotta make sure you literally run and press square as soon as you're close enough to your opponent all you gotta do is run square and then use another heavy attack so run square 
square on one heavy attack. That's it. And they can't dodge that one. If they get hit by that first move, this move right there, the second one, the flourish, the spear flourish, they will not be able to dodge that. See that? It's quick. It's flawless. So let me just go. Bam. Since I have light armor, so he can interrupt me at any time. So I gotta make sure he, he, um, I attack him before he, he interrupts me. And what you can do guys is literally just make sure you are really fast with the button pressings. So... You just gotta make sure you're really flawless with the buttons, guys. But um, it does work. All right, let, let's just break that down really quick, guys. So what you gotta do is make sure you're running. So hold X and then run towards your opponent and also make sure you're in high stance. Run towards your opponent, press square right there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is press R1. And then you'll do the spear flourish. And then after that, all you gotta do, guys, is do another heavy attack, okay? So, run, spear flourish, heavy attack, that's it. Now, you can do a heavy attack straight into a ninjutsu castle because the following attack, they will be able to dodge it and guard and all that stuff because, you know, that's enough priority for you. But, um, yeah, what you can do is do bam, spear flourish, and then ninjutsu castle, and then get back in there with the wild running spear or whatever that move is called again. Um, wild spear. So, let me just show you how that works in a combo situation. The only problem about my armor and uh, my build is that the characters can interrupt me at any point, which sucks, but... The only problem about that is that they can interrupt me because I have a, a really light gear. And as you can see, my agility is A and everything. So, um, yeah, it's crazy how light my gear is, but that's not actually my, my main set. My main set is this one. Um, because I, I have like a electrocution, um, bonus for damage when I'm dealing damage against my opponent. I'm currently using a level one gear, by the way. So just ignore that. I'm not using like my OP stuff because I don't want to kill my enemies too fast. I like to enjoy my combos and stuff like that. So I went ahead and farmed level 1 weapons. Um, so yeah, also congratulations to Team Ninja for buffing the dummies. If you guys haven't realized already, they take more damage um, now. So that means they don't die and even though I'm level like almost 300, 295. Um, so congratulations to them for doing that for the community. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, guys, let's break that down really quick. All you gotta do is make sure you're running while shooting a high stance, right? Press square, spear flourish, and then what you're gonna wanna do is do another heavy attack, pressing square, right? Right there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is do a ninjutsu cancel, preferably flaming, flaming herons, because flaming herons comes out really fast, and if they do try to counter you, they will get hit by that flaming herons. So for example, Right there, see that? He just countered me, but he still got hit by that Flaming Heron. See that? That's why you want to do Flaming Herons. As it's really good for when you're in PvP situations. Now, I'm a Electrocution type of guy, so what I would normally do, I would set Flaming Herons and Electricity together. So that whenever they dodge, they will still get hit by the Flaming Herons and then get hit by the Electrocution. And um, yeah, it'll be kind of nasty combo build, but um, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Now... The spear is pretty much like one of the best weapons for getting in and out of combos as well as the sword like the just the katana the the normal one the just a one-handed katana this one uh the spear and that and that weapon are really good for getting in and out of combos they are really nice and safe now if you want to play even more safe guys what you can do is um whenever you're like fighting you can do like a what do you call it for example right there A 
as you can see right there i'm just literally poking him if you like increase the damage at which you poke you pretty much annihilate your opponent literally just gonna keep poking him as you can see i'm literally just poking him you can dodge and then poke or you can just literally attack and then poke just fake attack or something and then poke and then dodge backwards and just keep the distance you know you can play safe like this and all i'm doing guys is pressing square dodge to the side by pressing the left analog stick and then x and you dodge like that um you know press the left analog stick to the side and then press x and make sure you're in low stance and then press square and that's it and you just do that now if you want to get closer to him at any given point you can press triangle after the first move and you get closer to him just like that see that and then what you can do is a uh, ninjutsu cancel right there like this for example you see that so what i'm doing right there guys all i'm doing is i'm doing square row to the side square square pole kick see that because of my pole kick is in low stance and it's really nice and safe for me um i will do flaming herons and if they try to dodge flaming herons what it does it comes back for the second time around and what you're gonna want to do guys you're gonna want to make sure um you keep him there again remember that i do not have super armor when my opponents attack me so they will interrupt me if i get hit make sure in high stance Damn. Keep poking him, and then, oh, what do I call it? He's currently blocking too much, but this is why I like just going in from heavy. But if he keeps blocking too much, just keep punishing him with the pokes. And, uh, keep punishing him with the pokes, keep poking him. There he goes. Just like that. You can literally just keep poking the guy because they keep blocking. Now, another thing you can do when the opponents are blocking, guys, this is it. Look at this. Let me just get him to block. What you can do? You can use an ninjutsu straight away. Now, the way it works, you gotta make sure you time it. So, whenever they block, use an ninjutsu straight away. Literally, that's it. All you gotta do, you see your character rebound, you can use a ninjutsu straight away. Anything. Anything at all. I don't think the bombs work. Oh, it does work. The bombs work too. Even Medusa powder. See that? And then you can punish him. So if you have a really strong paralytic um, effect on your character, it's gonna be it's gonna be really dangerous for them when he blocks. Make sure you're blocking and keep him on that poison. Just like this. So whenever they block, whenever you see a rebound, this doesn't just work for the spear, by the way. This works with every single weapon. Whenever you see the opponents block and they're blocking too much, you can use an injutsu castle, you can pretty much use anything. I just want him to block so I can show it to you guys again. All right. Let's do that again. Since he's low health, he's about to die. He's not blocking anymore because he's about to die. But did you guys get the picture? Whenever you see your character rebound, all you gotta do is press R1. I mean, uh, press the whichever ninjutsu you wanna select, unleash it, and then press R1 straight away. And that's it. And uh, they will get hit. And I recommend flaming herons for when you're in close quarters as it comes out fast if i do choose the lightning flying rising let rising feathers it won't come out so for example let me just show you what i mean by that guys see that it comes out 
Although it comes out, it just takes a little while. It's slower than the Flaming Herons. Flaming Herons is literally right in front of your face. So, see that? It takes a while, which means they can hit me. And that's no good. You don't want, them, you don't want to get hit. Especially if you're facing somebody with high attack power. So, I do recommend Flaming Herons for when you're in close quarters with your opponents. So for example, if you're far away, that's cool. You can use uh, Rising Feathers. But as soon as you get it... As soon as you get into there, into their face, you want to make sure you're literally like using flaming herons there. So now let me show you what I learned with the spear and the. Again, that's so sad that I get interrupted with any move it does because of my light gear. But um, yeah, let's just show you what I got. Where is he going? See what? I, see that right there? The spear and the hatches work really well together. And um, I figured this out today actually when I was just like, let me try another another weapon with the spear and see how that works. And the best way to do this, guys, is literally just like after spear flourish, you attack them. You hit them once with the with the hatchets because they hit so hard. Just show you that again. This guy's guard just breaks too fast. Ah, oh, my flaming herons didn't come out this time. I cancelled it too fast. <laughs> they are so nice together. The spear and the hatchets are such a beautiful combination. Like, really nice. And what you can do actually, I think, I think, what I could do, wow, ah, oh, there he is, he's lucky dodged, cause that flaming heron would've come back and would've killed him, but you guys get what I'm saying, you guys get what I'm saying, also, so let's just quickly recap everything so far. You guys know how to do ninjutsu cancels. You know about the uh, whenever they parry you, you can use a ninjutsu cancel again. For example, whenever you get rebounded off their guard. Now, you know um, that by getting in and out of combo, the safest way is to have the high stance or mid stance. Make sure you use high stance for me. Anyway, I like the high stance better as it has further, uh, what do you call it? Longer range, longer reach. Do bam. And then Spear Flourish right away. And if Spear Flourish fails, that's cool. Change to low stance. And then what you can do is do another attack and then back away. With the... What's that move called again? Raising Ruse or something? Whatever that thing is called. Uh, Rainbow Ruse. So, as soon as you... If you miss by any chance... If you miss your, your Spear Flourish, what you can do, guys, is literally just attack again. And then switch back to low stance straight away. So, bam attack and then go back to spear ruse right away and this will make you go back to a safe point for example let me just miss on purpose i'm gonna miss on purpose actually there you go just like that see that and another thing you guys may not know already is whenever you you rebound off their guard you can actually uh, use ra rainbow ruse like this for example as you can see right there so let me just show you right there see that bam rainbow reuse and you can wait a little bit you can wait a little bit until they're about to attack you and then use it also for those of you that may not know uh wild spear actually knocks down characters knocks them down and it has super armor too, which I just realized. And you can knock them down on their ass and then punish them really bad. Now, you can do like a, a floor move straight after that. So let me just show you what I mean by that. Just like this. Straight into this. And again, they get caught, you know what's gonna happen. 
See what I mean? So you can mix things like this together. Um, now, all I'm doing, guys, I'm doing the Wild Spear, hitting them one time, literally just pressing uh, either you can use Shuriken or you can do Square straight after. So, Wild Spear, cancel, and then Shuriken. I mean, uh, cancel and then attack. Let me just see how I did that, actually. So, bam. Yeah. So, in combat, let me just see how I did it. So, I make sure it's right. Bam. There we go. So, what I'm doing, I'm using a ninjutsu castle. And then, I'm using the... Uh, yeah, that's just beautiful. You see what I just did there? So what I'm doing is I'm doing Poke Kick, Ninjutsu Cancel, straight into a Cancel, and then uh, that one right there, Rainbow Reuse, which allows me to like dodge straight away. See? You can dodge straight away. So if you try to key pulse it, it takes a while. But if you try to dodge, it, it goes straight away. Right there, just like that. Now what you can do after Rainbow, not Rainbow Reuse, what is that called? Wild Spear? After Wild Spear, no, not Wild Spear, um, after Twisting Spear, uh, after Twisting Peer Spear, what you can do, you can do the, uh, Spear Flourish, so let me just show you, bam, just like that, now, as soon as you drop him on the floor, you can do Spear Flourish straight away, which makes it, which just guarantees that he's gonna go to the floor, let me just show you, now, my character wasn't angled properly, so, we just try that again. And if he doesn't go to the floor, it's cool. You can always interrupt him again. There we go. And now, bam. See what I just did there? There's kind of a, a mix right there, what I did. So, I made sure I used, um, what do you call it? Twisting Spear. And then as soon as I used Twisting Spear, I did uh, Spear Flourish, so Twisting Spear, Spear Flourish. And then what I did, I smacked him one more time with the Heavy, whilst he's on the ground. And then I got close to him, and I used the uh, the Knockdown move. And then what I did, I got him up with the Pole Kick. And then I used another one of these, so that, it, you know, just keeping pressure, just making sure he stays dead. <laughs> you use Flaming Herons, and then um, they the Flaming Herons will start chasing him. And if he tries to attack you at any given point within that time, he will get hit by the Flaming Herons. And it's a nasty combination, but PvP will be nasty. And you can't expect everyone to play clean. And you're using combos anyway, so you shouldn't be... They shouldn't really complain, okay? So, yeah, let's just um move on. Now I'm going to show you how you can mix a few, a few things with the Spirit. For example, this combo right here. It's just a simple way of... Uh, see that? How flawless it works with the with the spear. Now it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there because it gets crazier with the with the axe. Yeah, it is it? You will. Ah, I messed up. I was gonna do the other one. Ah, oh, no. I was actually gonna use one more move. What is he doing? He's so far away. Why would he use that? Alright. I think it's because I'm so far away. I should be waiting a little bit longer. So what are you gonna do is bam, bam. Throw it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is run towards him. And as soon as you get close, and then you use this move. This move is the wild boorish move. Uh, what is it called? Where is it? Twisting. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That's not it. This is my move that I got from a boss. The the crazy boss that you fight with the hatchets. Deadly spiral. Um, you can get this move from him. Okay. And um, yeah, it's on mid stance. So as soon as you get close to him, you can unleash that move. And that move is a really crazy move to use. Because it breaks their guard really badly. It's like it's a really guard breaker move. Let's 
See that? You, I just did like two ground moves. Just insane how much you can do with the spear and the and the hatchet. But the combination for these two weapons don't end there. Now let me just show you another version, another uh, method. That's just an example right there. Obviously, if you got him trapped like this, you, you're recommended to use this move right there because it keeps some pressure. And it's a, it's kind of a really good move if you want to unleash key damage upon your opponent. I ran out of, I ran out of key. So, this move for the spear is really good for when you got people cornered, and it will keep knocking them down. So it's called the demon under. No, what? Nah, <laughs> I'm on the hatchets. It's called windmill. So windmill is actually a really good spear spear move. Whenever you got bosses or mobs or even enemies or like revenants against a wall or a corner. You want to use this move and you want to make sure you have, what do I call it, with fire? Nah, you want to use something that, what do you call it, like destroys key. So, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Increase the key damage dealt by 20%. Where was this? Oh, no, you don't want that. So, now check this out. Whenever they guard, that move will destroy their guard. Literally, destroy it. Let me just get him cornered. Oh, you think you're sick? Let me just get him on the floor. There we go. Just get him to guard again. Alright, here we go. This time around. Ah, oh, he's under me. Do you get the picture, guys? Do you get the idea what I'm trying to go for right there? So whenever you're fighting bosses, because since they are bigger... There's a few ways to troll your opponent when you're using the spear. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, whenever you got them cornered, you can use windmill and make sure you have like the key damage and he will deal a lot of damage. Now, another thing that's really good with this is to have active skill break. So right there, active skill break plus 17%. Now, if you put that on and you use that move and then you have the, the, the custom skill thing, which is called the... Uh, Custom active skill settings, if you add that on onto Windmill, where it deals more damage, Masterful Slice, more key damage, it'll become really dangerous, guys. You guys get the picture, right? All right, now, how do I do that combo with the hatchets? Now, it's kind of tricky, but not tricky at the same time. So I'm going to try and do it whilst I'm fighting this guy. Let me just decrease the volume so you guys can hear me properly. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me properly, so... Audio... All right, man. So first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is follow the following tips. Remember how I said the safest way to get in and out of combo is by running and then keeping that high stance square, square R1? Well, it's the same method. Square R1 and as soon as you hit that spear flourish, you're gonna wanna hold R1, keep hold of the R1 button and then all you're gonna do is press down on your D-pad. Because I have a pro controller, a scuff controller, I always, I mean, I already have like the button at the back of my controller so all I gotta do is press that button behind my controller and I swap gear straight away I mean swap weapons straight away so it's kind of like flawless for me anyway for me for executing this skill for slightly easier now um for you guys it shouldn't be too hard either so just get used to the pattern of this thing all you gotta do is run for towards him press square and then R1 and then change weapons straight away after that as soon as you see that, that move hit, the spear flourish, you can change weapons straight away. As soon as it hits, 
literally as soon as it hits bam change weapon see that easy that's it bam change weapon and then you can keep going on now the hatchets has a, a, a move which is uh let me see it's called the boulder breaker so what it does is it launches itself you launch yourself backwards whilst you pummel like the hatches towards your opponent and it's really good to to like stay safe with the with the with the hatchets as well as with the spear because you know when you're far away with the spear you can pretty much pummel and you know punish your opponent really bad like this for example you can just spam that and it's really spammy I mean, you lose stamina, but come on. Who's going to touch you when you're far away with the spear? Nobody. They can't reach you unless they have the Kusuri Gamma. So you stay far away. You poke them. So what you can do, you do this. And then you can straight back into the spear, literally. And then just poke them again. So let me just show you. Just like that. See that? And if they block, remember what happens when they block? And there he goes, bam. Sit yourself down, boy. Sit yourself down. Do you guys get the picture, guys? If they block or if you're far away, you can literally just change back into the spear and then destroy them. It's, it's, it's insane. But now I'm gonna show you like a, a really cool mix that you can do with these two weapons. See that? Those are the kind of mixtures you can do with these two weapons. Um, you can pretty much like go insane with these two weapons. Like, look at that. He's gonna try and use the unavoidable move. <laughs> but do you guys see what I mean? They work really well together. Now, let me just show you a simple combo with these two weapons. Now, um, all you gotta do, guys, make sure you're running. Press, press X. I mean, uh, press and hold X. Press square whilst you're in high stance with the spear. And then press R1 for the spear flourish. If you have the spear flourish unlocked in high stance. So, spear flourish right there is in high stance. Stay in high stance. Run in high stance, press square, spear flourish. After that, keep hold of R1. Okay, so the inputs are run, so square, X, R1. And then keep hold of R1, okay? So square, I mean uh, X, X hold, R1. I mean X hold, square, R1 hold. So X hold, whilst in high stance, square, R1 hold. And then you can change, you can change weapon as soon as you see him put back the, the spear on the back like that okay so let me do that again bam just like that see that and then what you're gonna want to do is do boulder break it straight away so boom all you're gonna do is hold r1 and then hold circle straight after you change weapons so boom hold r1 hold circle you can literally hold circle after the spear flourish i mean whilst you're activating spear flourish so boom see that just like that boom let me just do that again just like that. So let me just do that again. Uh, uh oh, messed up that one. I can do even, wait, I can do the other one as well. So like, instead of the boulder breaker, you can go into uh, what, you, what I call the, uh, if you wanna keep distance, get closer to your opponent, you can use the uh, greased lightning, that's it. So you can do bam, oh, you can do bam. Just like that, see that? How crazy that is? So you can do bam. And then like go into boulder breaker and then change back into a spear you know it's up to you so you can do boom boulder breaker change back into spear and then you know go crazy poke poke guys it's like the creativity with these two weapons are endless like you can just go so insane on them 
see that and there's nothing you can do. If that spear flourish hits him, there's literally nothing you can do about those two hits. Like, he has to take damage. If the spear flourish connects, the man has to take damage. Just do that again. Okay, you're getting a bit confident there, right? How about a kick to the face? Alright, here we go. So let me just do that again. Bam. Oh my goodness, this guy keeps recovering so fast. Let's do that again. Oh my gosh, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead. Never mind. I was gonna do boom. Boom, boom. And then come back on him. Do you see what I mean, guys? All I'm doing is the creativ creativity of the ninjutsu cancels as well as the weapon switching. By the way, I do not, I did not purchase this move right here. Flash attack. That move is garbage. It will slow you down. Although it's good for guard breaking and stuff, I just, I don't like using it. It slows you down and your weapon switching gets slower. It's just not good. And you use it during key pulse, which means it will interrupt your spear flurry stuff. It's just not good. If you know how to use it properly, good. Great for you. But for me, it doesn't work. I like doing combos fast, so, so I have it off. Guys, that's pretty much it. I hope I broke down everything with the spear. Um, the one thing I'm missing that I haven't told you guys is the parry with the spear. Wait, does it have a parry? Yes, it does. There you go. And you get power boost, but I don't have that skill unlocked yet. Uh, my proficiency with the spear is not that high. Actually, it kind of is. Not sure. But yeah, this one right here, it's called the twirl number two. When you twirl, when twirl is successful, increase your attack power, which is great. So whenever you parry enemies, uh, especially when they're doing heavy attacks, let me just show you. Yeah, right there. Boom. Do it again. Do it again, son. Oh, I messed up. I messed up again. I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm silly. So basically, when they go through your guard, you can see the second one coming indefinitely. Like you can see it coming right there. He bounced because he's currently in mid stance. I want him to go back to the high stance. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. There we go. Sit. Boy, sit. Alright, there we go. He's back in high stance. Uh-oh, I messed up. Alright. No, he's going back to mid stance again. I messed up. I messed up my timing, but you guys get the picture? Like, when you see the second time around, when he goes past your guard, when he's hitting you in high stance, what you can do is you can see that second one coming so what you're gonna need to do is just input the uh there we go there we go see that just like that and then you can punish him straight away into flaming herons and he's currently pressured and there we go he's just getting punished now you see that the spear is really dangerous so when you parry moves like this for example make sure there are they are in high stance i only recommend you guys parry moves that are obvious of course but the moves that you can see whilst they're hitting your guard and going through it whilst in high stance. So this only works against the Odachi and like swords. Uh, Kusurigamas are kind of tricky. So I wouldn't recommend you try to parry Kusurigamas. Because they hit kind of multiple times whilst in high stance. And um, the Tomfas are doable but not recommendable. <laughs> the Axe is doable indefinitely because you can see those coming. And as well as the Switch Glaives. They are really like doable. You can, you can literally see those coming. Obviously, you can see the first one coming if it's obvious, if they're just standing right next to you, but it's when they go when they go past your guard. So like this, like that, just like that. When they go past your guard like that, you can punish them. Let's finish it. See that? You can mix things so well with the spear, and the spear is a beautiful weapon. Now, let's just take this time to break down these, we these combos real quick so the first thing i'm going to show you right now is how to use a troll combo uh how to play dead and use it in a combo so for example you need this animation play dead animation how you can use it in a fight now you're going to need to break your opponent's guard okay so first of all break your guard break his guard just going to do one more 
There we go. So what I'm gonna do right now. He's missed me. See that? That's how you can use it in a combo. Obviously you can get more creative than this. This is just like an, a sample. If you haven't seen my combos videos, make sure you do because I've done some crazy stuff with this animation before. Especially with the sword, as they are my main weapon, so I know how to use them properly. And um, look at that. I just used the move I didn't even break down yet. Now, you can use this move really well when people are blocking. So I think it's in high stance or mid stance, actually, my bad. Dragonfly is... Um, where is it? Okay, this spear, this, you can only use that when you break the guard, because it's such a slow animation, but it's, it looks really cool. Uh, body swap. Whenever they're guarding, or even when you, when you dodge their attack, and you know they're gonna, oh man, I was behind him. So whenever the, whenever you like, guard them, yeah, they're right there. See that? Whenever you block their guard, and you can just use it straight away. So what you can do, is guard it, body swap and then use spear flourish straight away so you hit him with a heavy heart with a heavy hit and then spear flourish straight away oh i messed up obviously he's guarding wait should be that should work when they're guarding it should work indefinitely like obviously you can body swap them when they're vulnerable Okay, they can actually dodge it as well, so you're gonna have to use something even faster, so... Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, perhaps you could swap weapon, so you could do... Uh, greased Lightning straight away, so that they, get, they don't get away, so... I messed up there, Let me just do that again. Do that again, just messed up again. Yep, that's really nice. You can use Greased Lightning. If he keeps spamming attacks, just, just literally. Body swap. God damn, just body swap, sir. Body swap. Just like that. Whenever they guard your move, you can go crazy with the uh, with the hatchets and the spear. Now, I've taught you guys how to parry. I showed you the troll combo, um, but I don't. I don't think I actually like specified how to use it. But the way to use it, guys, all you gotta do, okay, is um, make sure your opponent. This is for the troll combo breakdown. Make sure they're out of key. So. Make sure you punish them long enough. So for example, right there, he's about to get down. Right there, boom. So, lightning, cancel, and then use play dead. They can hit you though. But, he's dumb. He messed it up. And again. And he got hit with lightning, as well as the ultimate grapple move. So like, the final blow. That's just insane. I messed up. <laughs> he got hit by two of them. So, that's nasty, bro. That's just insane. But yeah, guys, it's really simple. All you gotta do, whenever their guard is broken, when they're like fatigued, press square, pole kick, lightning, and then cancel, and then use the animation. And all you gotta do is spam triangle to get up really fast. And then you can use a shuriken right away, straight into a charged move, which is the wild spear. Wild or Twisting Spear, actually. Um, so yeah, guys. That's pretty much it for the spear. I hope I was cl clear with the things I've explained and taught you guys in this video. Um, if you guys want a different method of explaining and doing tutorials, that's cool. I can try and do like a, a video rather than like talking. I can just like do inputs on screen and then, you know, just uh, do the moves on the side. Do you know what I'm saying? So like inputs... And then combos on the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe that way is faster and lasts longer and stuff like that. I don't know. 
let me know in the comments down below but guys that's it for this video make sure you like subscribe if you haven't already if you guys are new and you would like to see more neo content and um yeah let me sh let me know what weapons you would like to see next uh i've played pretty much with every weapon except the axe so far i mean i did play with the axe a little bit but it's not my favorite weapon it's too slow um i played with the adachis i played with the kusurigamas which i already did the tutorial for i haven't done the switch glaive the axe and the odachi which i do not know how to use yet so i need to learn how to use it before i before i show it to you guys okay so i need to learn the odachi uh the switch glaive i kind of need to go back and dust off my rustiness and then the hatchets i'm pretty good with uh and then the axe i'm garbage with okay and the rest of the weapons i've already done tutorials for so um yeah guys peace out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video man peace all right guys that's all we have time for today but let's stay connected by following me on instagram and on twitter also if you enjoyed the content make sure to hit that like subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell take care